Martin Van Buren, the statesman behind the scenes. Today, we gather to explore the life and legacy of Martin Van Buren, a man often relegated to the sidelines of American history, yet whose contributions to shaping the nation were profound and enduring. Martin Van Buren was born on December 5, 1782, in Kinderhook, New York, a small Dutch farming community nestled in the Hudson Valley. He was the third of six children born to Abraham Van Buren and Maria Hoos Van Aalen, both of Dutch descent. Growing up in Kinderhook, Van Buren experienced the close-knit community bonds and agricultural rhythms that characterized life in rural America during the late 18th century. Despite his family's modest means, Van Buren received a solid education, attending local schools and later studying law under the tutelage of prominent attorney William Peter Van Ness. It was during this time that Van Buren's keen intellect and natural aptitude for politics began to emerge. He quickly established himself as a skilled debater and legal scholar, earning the respect of his peers and mentors alike. Van Buren's entry into the world of politics coincided with the nascent years of the American Republic. Inspired by the revolutionary ideals of liberty and democracy, he became actively involved in local politics, aligning himself with the Democratic-Republican Party led by Thomas Jefferson. Van Buren's early political career was marked by a commitment to the principles of states' rights, limited government intervention, and the preservation of individual liberties. In 1808, at the age of 26, Van Buren embarked on his first foray into elected office, winning a seat in the New York State Senate. His tenure in the state legislature was characterized by a steadfast advocacy for the interests of his constituents, particularly farmers and small landowners. Van Buren's ability to navigate the intricacies of New York's political landscape and build alliances across party lines earned him a reputation as a rising star within the Democratic-Republican Party. Throughout the early decades of the 19th century, Van Buren's political career continued to ascend. He served as a key advisor to New York Governor Daniel D. Tompkins and played a pivotal role in shaping the state's political agenda. In 1821, Van Buren was elected to the United States Senate, where he emerged as a leading voice for states' rights and a staunch opponent of the growing influence of the Federalist Party. It was during this period that Van Buren's political acumen and strategic vision began to attract national attention. Recognizing the potential of a unified Democratic Party, he spearheaded efforts to organize and mobilize support for Andrew Jackson's presidential campaign. Van Buren's tireless advocacy and organizational skills were instrumental in securing Jackson's victory in the bitterly contested election of 1828, catapulting him into the role of vice president. Martin Van Buren's early life and political beginnings laid the foundation for his remarkable ascent to prominence within American politics. From his humble upbringing in Kinderhook to his emergence as a key figure in the Democratic Party, Van Buren's journey underscores the transformative power of perseverance, intellect, and unwavering commitment to the principles of democracy. So let us remember and honor the formative years of this remarkable statesman whose legacy continues to shape the course of American history. Rise to Prominence Van Buren's ascent to prominence coincided with the presidency of Andrew Jackson, a larger-than-life figure whose populist appeal and fervent advocacy for the common man reshaped the political landscape of the United States. Recognizing the potential of aligning himself with Jackson's burgeoning movement, Van Buren positioned himself as a key ally and confidant to the president, forging a powerful political partnership that would shape the course of American history. Central to Van Buren's rise to prominence was his mastery of the intricate web of New York politics. As a native of Kinderhook and a seasoned veteran of the state's political scene, Van Buren possessed an intimate understanding of the nuances of power and influence. Leveraging his network of allies and supporters, he emerged as a dominant force within New York's Democratic Party, earning the nickname the Little Magician, 
for his uncanny ability to navigate treacherous political waters and outmaneuver his rivals. Van Buren's rise to national prominence was cemented by his role as the architect of the modern Democratic Party. Recognizing the need for a cohesive and organized political movement, he spearheaded efforts to unify disparate factions under the banner of Jacksonian democracy. Through the establishment of state and national party conventions, the creation of a party platform, and the cultivation of grassroots support, Van Buren laid the groundwork for the emergence of a robust two-party system that continues to shape American politics to this day. As Jackson's trusted advisor and confidant, Van Buren played a pivotal role in shaping the president's agenda and guiding key policy initiatives through Congress. His skillful negotiation and strategic maneuvering were instrumental in advancing Jackson's populist agenda, including the dismantling of the Second Bank of the United States and the expansion of executive power. In 1832, Van Buren's political prowess was rewarded with his appointment as Secretary of State in Jackson's cabinet, cementing his status as one of the most influential figures in American politics. From his position at the helm of American diplomacy, Van Buren played a key role in shaping the nation's foreign policy agenda, navigating the complexities of international relations with skill and finesse. Martin Van Buren's rise to prominence was a testament to his unparalleled political skill, strategic vision, and unwavering commitment to the principles of democracy. From his early days in New York politics to his tenure as Secretary of State, Van Buren's influence extended far beyond the borders of his home state, leaving an indelible mark on the course of American history. So let us remember and honor the remarkable ascent of this political titan whose legacy continues to shape the fabric of American democracy. Architect of the Modern Democratic Party in the early decades of the 19th century, American politics was characterized by fragmentation and instability. Factions and regional interests often dominated the political landscape, leading to a lack of cohesive party organization and ideological unity. Recognizing the need for a unified political movement capable of mobilizing popular support and advancing a coherent policy agenda, Van Buren set out to build a modern political party that would transcend regional boundaries and unite diverse constituencies under a common banner. Central to Van Buren's vision was the concept of party organization and mobilization. Recognizing the potential of a well-organized party apparatus, he spearheaded efforts to establish a nationwide network of party committees, conventions, and loyalists. Through the creation of state and national party organizations, Van Buren sought to consolidate power and coordinate political activity on a scale never before seen in American politics. One of Van Buren's most enduring legacies was his role in the creation of the National Party Convention System. Prior to his efforts, presidential candidates were typically chosen by congressional caucuses or state legislatures a process that often favored entrenched elites and excluded ordinary citizens from the political process. Van Buren recognized the need for a more democratic and inclusive method of selecting party nominees and proposed the idea of a national convention where delegates from across the country could gather to nominate candidates and draft a party platform. This innovation democratized the nomination process and empowered rank-and-file party members to have a direct say in the selection of their candidates. In addition to his efforts to institutionalize party organization, Van Buren played a crucial role in shaping the ideological direction of the Democratic Party. Embracing the principles of Jacksonian democracy, he advocated for the expansion of suffrage, the protection of states' rights, and the promotion of economic opportunity for all Americans. Van Buren's commitment to these core principles helped to solidify the Democratic Party as the standard bearer of popular democracy and egalitarianism in American politics. Furthermore, Van Buren's emphasis on party loyalty and discipline laid the groundwork for the emergence of a cohesive party identity. By promoting party unity and discouraging factionalism, he fostered a sense of solidarity among party members and ensured that the Democratic Party would speak with a unified voice 
on key policy issues. Martin Van Buren's role as the architect of the modern Democratic Party was a transformative moment in American political history. Through his efforts to institutionalize party organization, democratize the nomination process, and promote a cohesive party identity, Van Buren laid the groundwork for the two-party system that continues to shape American politics to this day. So let us remember and honor the visionary leadership of this remarkable statesman, whose legacy continues to endure in the fabric of American democracy. Presidency and Legacy Inheriting the presidency from his political mentor, Andrew Jackson, Martin Van Buren assumed office in 1837 amid a period of profound economic turmoil known as the Panic of 1837. The collapse of the speculative bubble fueled by rampant speculation and the subsequent banking crisis plunged the nation into a severe depression, testing the resolve and leadership of the new president. Van Buren's response to the economic crisis was marked by a commitment to fiscal responsibility and limited government intervention. Unlike his predecessor, who favored a more hands-off approach to economic policy, Van Buren believed in the necessity of government action to mitigate the effects of the Depression. He advocated for a return to the principles of hard money and sound fiscal management, opposing efforts to expand the money supply or provide direct relief to struggling businesses and individuals. Despite his best efforts, Van Buren's presidency was marred by the persistence of economic hardship and widespread suffering. Unemployment soared, businesses shuttered, and ordinary Americans faced severe hardship as the Depression deepened. Critics lambasted Van Buren for his perceived indifference to the plight of the common man, accusing him of callousness and incompetence in the face of crisis. Yet, Van Buren's presidency was not without its successes. His commitment to fiscal responsibility and balanced budgets helped to stabilize the nation's finances and lay the groundwork for future economic recovery. Moreover, Van Buren's steadfast defense of states' rights and opposition to federal intervention endeared him to many Southerners, who saw him as a champion of their interests against the encroachment of federal power. Beyond his presidency, Martin Van Buren's legacy as a statesman and political visionary endures. His role as the architect of the modern Democratic Party transformed American politics, laying the groundwork for the two-party system that continues to shape the course of American democracy. His emphasis on party organization and discipline helped to consolidate power and promote party unity, ensuring that the Democratic Party would speak with a unified voice on key policy issues. Moreover, Van Buren's commitment to the principles of democracy and popular sovereignty left an indelible mark on the American political landscape. His advocacy for the expansion of suffrage, protection of states' rights, and promotion of economic opportunity for all Americans helped to define the core values of the Democratic Party and shape the trajectory of American politics for generations to come. Martin Van Buren's presidency may have been marked by economic hardship and political challenges, but his enduring legacy as a statesman and political visionary cannot be understated. From his role as the architect of the modern Democratic Party to his steadfast defense of democratic principles, Van Buren's contributions to American politics continue to resonate to this day. So let us remember and honor the legacy of this remarkable statesman whose vision and leadership helped to shape the course of American history, foreign policy, and diplomatic achievements. During his presidency from 1837 to 1841, Martin Van Buren faced numerous foreign policy challenges, navigating the complexities of international relations with skill and finesse. One of the most significant diplomatic achievements of his administration was the recognition of the Republic of Texas. Amidst the turmoil of the Texas Revolution, Van Buren's decision to extend diplomatic recognition to the newly independent nation signaled America's support for the cause of Texan independence and established diplomatic relations between the two countries. Van Buren's handling of relations with Britain also showcased his diplomatic acumen. 
At a time when tensions between the United States and Britain were high, particularly over issues such as trade and territorial disputes, Van Buren sought to maintain peaceful relations and prevent the outbreak of hostilities. Through diplomatic channels and negotiations, he succeeded in diffusing tensions and preserving the fragile peace between the two nations. Moreover, Van Buren's commitment to the principles of neutrality and non-intervention helped to safeguard America's interests abroad. At a time when Europe was in the midst of political upheaval and revolutionary fervor, Van Buren resisted calls for American intervention and instead pursued a policy of neutrality, ensuring that the United States would not be drawn into the conflicts engulfing the continent. Van Buren's diplomatic achievements extended beyond the realm of bilateral relations to encompass broader efforts to promote American interests and values on the world stage. Through diplomatic missions and treaties, he sought to expand America's influence in Latin America and the Pacific, laying the groundwork for future expansion and territorial acquisition. Furthermore, Van Buren's commitment to diplomatic engagement and dialogue helped to establish America as a respected member of the international community. His efforts to strengthen ties with other nations and promote peaceful cooperation laid the foundation for America's emergence as a global power in the decades to come. Martin Van Buren's foreign policy and diplomatic achievements were a testament to his skillful navigation of the complexities of international relations and his commitment to promoting America's interests and values on the world stage. From his recognition of the Republic of Texas to his efforts to maintain peaceful relations with Britain and other nations, Van Buren's diplomatic legacy endures as a testament to his vision and leadership in the realm of foreign affairs. So let us remember and honor the diplomatic achievements of this remarkable statesman, whose contributions to American foreign policy continue to resonate to this day. Martin Van Buren's contributions to American politics and governance are deserving of recognition and remembrance. As the architect of the modern Democratic Party, Van Buren revolutionized the political landscape of the United States and laid the groundwork for the vibrant democracy we cherish today. So let us honor the memory of this remarkable statesman and remember the enduring legacy of Martin Van Buren. Thank you for your time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you liked this video.